Welcome to the challenge round. Here's the breakdown. The first competitor, standing 5 feet 8 inches, weighing 245 pounds, Bertel Fox. And his opponent, standing 5 feet 8 inches, weighing 242 pounds, Craig Titus. And we begin this long, long-awaited challenge round. Of course, at this point, a lot of these matchups have been sitting on the back burner for quite some time. But anyway, I'm going to probably shock and surprise a lot of you by uh, my choice on this one. I'm actually going to go to on uh, Bertle Fox's side here. Uh, aesthetically speaking, he's just destroying... Craig Titus. Uh, it's just when I compare these two, Craig Titus's physique it just looks ugly. I'm sorry. Uh, the abdominal region and uh, just pretty much everything. Bertle Fox looks like an amazing action uh, figure, like a He-Man action figure. Their physiques just looks cartoonish and uh, very, very aesthetically uh, pleasing. This goes to show you... Uh, just uh, how much emphasis these guys in the golden age and in the 80s placed on the aesthetics. And I, I will say the conditioning. Uh, Craig Titus is destroying uh, Bertle Fox on that aspect, as well as the lags here. But anyway, I made my choice. Now let's uh, head on into the first pose. And once again, Bertle Fox comes through with another victory. This is uh, very surprising to me. Uh, and I did not handpick this pitcher of uh, Craig Titus as a bad pitcher. I always go for the best shots that I can find. Just for some reason, when he hits his double bicep, his, his stomach sticks out and just looks uh, terrible. I'm not picking on Craig Titus here, ladies and gentlemen. He, uh, I just place a great deal on aesthetics, and uh, Bertle Fox is, is just killing Craig Titus in this pose here. But anyway, let's head on into the next pose. Here in the side chest pose, and, well, Craig Titus actually, uh, he's winning this one. I know I'm going to probably take heat over this, but uh, for some reason I, uh, I don't really appreciate a split in a chest on the side chest. I like it to bow out. But anyway, uh, Craig Titus isn't the best in this pose, but I feel that his lag development is uh, just enough to edge out a slight victory in the side chest pose. And the reason I, I believe that I will be taking heat over this one is Bertle Fox is just killing Craig Titus in the arm department. Anyway, let's head on into the next pose. Here we have the side tricep pose, and Bertle Fox is doing more than enough to absolutely flatten, flatten Craig Titus because he is he is definitely uh, disqualified from this pose. He uh, He's not hitting it properly. And here at Marks Max Muscle, we uh, definitely are sticklers on the mandatories, in particular the side tricep. I couldn't uh, find any pictures of him hitting it properly. Uh, if there is one out there, send it in the link, and maybe we can reverse this decision, but I don't think so. Berta Fox looks incredible. One of the best ever to hit this shot. Anyway, let's uh, this time have these gentlemen turn around and snap a rear double bicep pose. Looks like Craig Titus battles back. No pun intended. I feel that Bertle Fox isn't too bad in this pose, eh, not the best, actually not too bad, I'm surprised. But Craig Titus actually has a pretty decent back development, pretty low lats there, we all know how much I appreciate that. Anyway, uh, Bertle Fox uh, loses his first full point here, uh, Craig Titus got a half point there earlier on. But anyway, it's pretty much been a domination by Bertle Fox. Now let's head into the next pose. Here in the rear lat spread, and neither guy is uh, top notch on this one, goes without saying. I believe the guys in the 80s didn't really display their uh, hamstrings, or perhaps they uh, lack thereof, the such muscle. But anyway, uh, due to that fact, just the, the lack of lags on Berta Fox's case, Craig Titus is sneaking out another victory, 
Are we going to have a Branch Warren case where it's a turnaround victory after a, a domination at the start? Who knows? I guess you'll have to tune in next time to find out on uh, Mark's Max Muscle in the challenge round. No, I'm, I'm just joking. At this time, we're going to actually have these two gentlemen turn around and snap a most muscular pose. I actually do appreciate the uh, overall silhouette of Craig Titus here, but there's no way that I'm handing him a victory over Brutal Fox in this pose. When you really look close, it's, uh, it's, it's just no comparison in muscle quality here. Brutal Fox is one ripped beast for sure. And having said that, there only remains one pose, and we're going to skip that, because Brutal Fox is destroying uh, Craig Titus in the ab and thigh. So it's plain to me, and you, that your winner of this fantastic challenge round is this man here, Brutal Brutal Fox. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit, when I first seen these two uh, lined up for a match, I figured Craig Titus had it in the bag. But I'm more than happy to hand this man a victory. Bertle Fox will now wait the challenge of another challenge round winner to do battle in the gladiator round.